Good afternoon, Meredith Mathematicians. I'm going to read some interesting things about some shapes that we've already learned about. Um, if you are in middle school, you've learned about right angles and specifically triangles. And if you have not yet learned about this, then you can still do this activity using some of the information that I'm reading. I'm reading from a book called Math is Everywhere. And um, I'll upload the page documents for you as pictures as well so that you can refer to them after the reading. And so again, we're talking about right triangles today. Uh, right triangles have one 90 degree angle in them of the three angles where the sum of all three angles equal 180 degrees. They have special properties that make them extremely useful in solving many kind of problems. And so there was a man about 2,500 years ago named Pythagoras who created this theorem called the Pythagorean Theorem that talks about the area of the sides of squares that create the area of each square. And so basically what he discovered was that if you take three squares and create a triangle with them, sort of like you see here, that the area of one square and the area of the second square here, which create this 90 degree angle here, creates the sum of these two areas as the third area of the third larger square here. And so the Pythagorean theorem basically talks about how the side of one of those uh, triangles and the second side of that same triangle that creates the 90 degree angle in that picture, those two sides squared, so a squared plus b squared, creates the second area of that square in the three squares from that image. And so that when you're using that, that theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, that can give you the dimensions of a third missing side of the triangle the longer side opposite to the right angle in this right triangle. And so here's something fun for you to do at home to kind of apply this to what we've been learning about in school or just because you're sort of interested in want to learn more about things in our house since we're home. Um, you can look at any corner of your home and you know typically we have in our houses uh, square corners, right? or 90 degree angles in, in those corners. What you can do is use the principle of Pythagorean triples, which is, again, I'm gonna upload this later, but it basically talks about in special right triangles, Pythagorean triples are special right triangles that have sides with lengths that are whole numbers. So we have an example of that right here, of a triangle that has a length of three, four, and five, where five is the longest side, and other Pythagorean triples, again, longer lengths, but all whole numbers for each of the three sides measures of those triangles. And so basically what you can do in your home to see if you have an exact 90 degree angle in the corner of your house is to measure the side lengths of those two corners. So you can take your tape measure and measure 30 inches across using that tape measure along one side of the carpet. Then measure on the opposite side of the corner, so 30 inches across here, and then measure 40 inches across the other side of the carpet in that corner. And when you do that, what's supposed to happen if you have a 90 degree angle in that corner of your house, if the diagonal is 50 inches long, where you take the measure from your tape measure from 30 inches to 40 inches, and then from that point where you noted where 30 inches was, if you create your diagonal with that tape measure across and connect to the point where you measured 40 inches, that measure of that diagonal line across from the 30 degree, or sorry, 30 inch mark to the 40 inch mark should be 50 inches long. If it is not 50, I'm sorry, 50 inches long. If it is not 50 inches, the corner is not a 90 degree corner and it's actually shorter, it's, it's an acute corner. So 
I know that was sort of confusing. I'll say it again. You measure one side from your corner of your of your house, 30 inches across, and mark it with like a piece of tape or something. Then in that same corner opposite now, you're gonna measure 40 inches across. And again, mark that in the corner on the baseboard or wall with another piece of tape uh, there for that to be 40 inches long. And then measure the diagonal from that tape opposite to the other piece of tape on the other wall and that should be 50 inches long from point to point. If it's not 50 inches then you don't have an exact 90 degree corner in your home and so that's something fun to do um, just to see how you can apply what we're learning about in mathematics in middle school to things in the real world in your houses and um, I'll upload this page I'll take pictures of this and upload that for you later as well so that you can um, sort of follow along with that um, if I was confusing in describing that.